Hi Delish, I'm Megan Rinks and I'm going to give you guys a tour of my kitchen. So come inside. I'm not farting, that was the tour. <laughs> Let's go inside. So this is my kitchen and I feel like it will be no secret or surprise that my favorite part of the kitchen is the most dominating part of the kitchen, which is not my personality. Actually it is. It is this kitchen island. I I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this skylight. It adds so much light. The light in here is beautiful. Our neighbors actually used to have like a beautiful bougainvillea that had all of these flowers outside. Then they cut it down, which was very rude and selfish, but I've never spoken to them before, so it's not like I could yell at them for cutting down the flowers on their own property. But um, let me show you around. So a close second for my favorite part of the kitchen is my baking drawer. I will say it was more organized, but this is more realistic of everything that's in here. I love to bake. I have literally everything in here. It is truly not my favorite because it is organized. It is just my favorite because I really like to bake. We are making small batch brownies. Making banana bread on Instagram. How groundbreaking. It's soup time. It's soup time. My beautiful stand mixer. I actually ended up getting this giant big version. I had the little one that has the top that goes like this, but then one time while I was filming a baking video for my YouTube channel, Home Alone, my boyfriend was at work, I got my finger stuck in it and I was fully convinced that I had chopped the type of my finger off. There was blood everywhere, I was freaking out, and as soon as my finger was healed, I bought a new one that doesn't do that, so I can't have that disaster all over again. But I really like this kitchen because there's a ton of space Base, and I, again, love to bake. I love to film baking videos for my YouTube channel. I had high hopes of making my own homemade marshmallows, but it's really hard and time got away from me, so I didn't. Megan Ranks, check it out, Baking with Megan. We do a lot of baking and also trashing Paul Hollywood. No offense, I just, I don't get it. I guess we don't really have a pantry that's a dream when we have a house. I would absolutely love to have a pantry. So we kind of have everything broken up differently. So in here, <laughs> these are all of the oils and condiments and everything. I had a phase, as you can tell, I have lots of phases where I get into organizing and then I stop, where I got these little jars with the stickers and I put all the spices in there. And then, you know, I discovered things like Trader Joe's Umami Spice and Herbs de Provence, and I was like, they can stay in their packaging. So it's, it's a little um, haphazard. So this is our other version of a pantry. It's a lot smaller. I have aprons hung on here. I truly have so many more than that. They're stuffed in various random places. I also have ADHD, so I lose a lot of things in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, we have... Anderson's split pea soup. I'm from NorCal and I live in Los Angeles. So I've done the drive from LA to NorCal, NorCal to LA so many times and always the pit stop is Anderson's. They have the best split pea soup ever. Maybe I'm 95 years old that I just love split pea soup, but theirs especially. And the canned version was truly the only, <laughs> the only soup that was left at the grocery store and everybody was panic buying. And I was like, you literally left the best thing. I love it. And then, more baking stuff up here. What should, I don't even remember what's in here. Oh, these are more mix-ins. So peanut butter chips. This used to be chocolate candy, but it's all out. But this is like just a great way to keep organized. Clearly I need to do a restock. And then up here, wow, thankfully I'm tall, otherwise this really wouldn't work out. These are all of my dry goods. Bread flour, flour, brown sugar, powdered sugar, regular sugar. And then I've got backups all behind there. And there's a stool somewhere around here that I will use to get the rest of that stuff. The three things that I always have to have in my pantry are avocado oil, popcorn, actually even probably balsamic vinegar. I love adding it to everything. I would say tomato paste, but that's obviously not in the pantry unless it's unopened. But my opened tomato paste is most likely in the fridge. So speaking of the fridge, let's go inside. Uh -huh. This is the fridge. My boyfriend so nicely cleaned this beforehand. I was, I, hopefully we're still, I mean, not even hopefully. I know it's still gonna be pretty relatable because there are definitely things in here that expired. Oh, that's not expired yet. Yeah, this expired December 3rd, um, 2018. <laughs> it is cauliflower curry 
sauerkraut and I was banned from eating this in the house because everybody said it smelled disgusting and I used to chase my friends around just breathing in their faces because I'm a great person. We've got lots of greens in here, Brussels sprouts, my favorite vegetable, cilantro, parsley, all of that. Recently we've been really getting into freezing grapes. I feel like this happens every year as soon as it starts to get warm. So we just got grapes and then we'll run them underwater and then pop them in the freezer. Delicious. And we have a serious amount of almond milk because I put it in so many things. But yeah, that is the fridge. So this is the freezer. It is so, so, so incredibly full. My favorite thing and the thing that you can always find in my freezer, cauliflower gnocchi. It's fantastic, it's absolutely delicious. I really wanna get an air fryer and put it in the air fryer. I just feel like that would be delicious. And then you'll most likely find frozen bananas too because that is my favorite treat. Then over to our oven, which I have a love-hate relationship with this oven because the pilot light will not stay on and we've gotten it fixed and it's just a stressful time it also likes to run um like the katy perry song really hot or really cold, hot cold. so it's a great time i won't be making any soufflés or anything that's super temperature sensitive anytime soon and then up top here we also have my whirly pop which my, my boyfriend's parents got me for christmas how many years ago a long time ago yeah but we love the Whirly Pop, and every time I think of the Whirly Pop, or I see the Whirly Pop, or I use the Whirly Pop, I sing Whirly Pop, don't stop, to the to the Dirty Pop. I've got my Vitamix. This was a great investment because I love it, and that's what a great investment deems. And I was breaking way too many of the other blenders, so I'd rather have one that's more expensive, has a warranty, you can get it fixed, all of that stuff. Then we go on to all of my cookbooks. I really don't actually have a ton of savory cookbooks. I mostly have um, baking ones. My friend Sasha Peterson has a cookbook. This is her entertaining book, Sasha in Good Taste. Check it out, love her. So in this drawer, tons of cutlery. Love these. These were a recent Christmas gift. And yeah, oh, should we show my favorite knife? <sighs> I got this for Christmas. My boyfriend Mots gave it to me. I love this so much. It is, it's a Mac Mighty, is that what it's called? I know it's a Mac knife, but I love it. All the rest of these knives are trash. I don't use any of these other knives, I only use this knife. And I don't know why we have all these other ones because both of us exclusively will only use this one now. Once you get a good knife, you will not go back. We've also got a cast iron griddle pan over here, which is great for cooking burgers or steaks or anything inside, um, but you have to, really get set up with all the windows open because we have a very sensitive smoke alarm. So the things I probably use most in the kitchen are the coffee maker. I love this one, it's very basic, Cuisinart. I'm not a bougie coffee person at all. I actually used to hate coffee and it was a New Year's resolution like five years ago, four years ago, probably five years ago that I wanted to force myself to like coffee. So I did and now I need coffee, only one a day and I still kind of hate the taste and I take it so sweet with so much almond milk but it makes me feel more like an adult. And then the Whirly Pop we use pretty much every single night. Oh, our cast iron pan is not here. Being washed, it's somewhere, wherever it is. Beneath you, I'm a it's, lazy Susan. Oh, it's in the lazy Susan beneath me. Oh yeah, this is chock full. But the cast iron is also probably one of our most used things. I love the cast iron. And then probably the Instant Pot, which I absolutely love, but mostly in the warmer months, but it's colder, it's colder months when I want to be warm. It's a game changer. So the thing that I, I personally never use in the kitchen is the bar cart that I spent so much time meticulously finding online and styling and decorating because I'm not a drinker at all, even though I insisted on replacing ugly <laughs> champagne flutes and all of that stuff. But this is probably the least used by me personally. We've had one party here and the amount of alcohol that was left over is obscene. But it's cute and I feel like the apartment wouldn't look as nice without it. So it's here and my boyfriend uses it, just not, obviously he's not drinking all of this stuff alone all the time. <laughs> so then over here we have our breakfast nook, which I hate to admit, I've literally never sat here before. One of my, um, 
ideas that I've had recently. I want to switch this out for like a big, is it called like a banquet? Banquet, banquet, bang, bang. It's felt like banquet-ish, banquet. Something that's just more storage-y and less cluttered. Like as much as I like this, and I think these are really cute. These are upholstered little cushions. These are honestly just like Ikea things that we have all in here. And it's a good amount of storage, but the issue is it's not easily accessible and no one really sits at this table because we have a dining room table. So I, as cute as I think it is, I think I want to switch it out for just a, like a streamlined, more piece of like, I don't know, storagey furniture, which I think would be really nice. And then let's stay home, which has been my life motto always. It's coming in handy now. I called it first. So delish. That is my kitchen. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much for stopping by. And if you want to check out, I have a book coming out on May 5th called You're Not Special. It's an advice comedy. Uh, someone who doesn't have their life together is helping you who might also not have your life together. It's also sort of a memoir. It's literally called You're Not Special. It's sort of memoir. Self-deprecating jokes are kind of my brand. Well, thanks, guys. <laughs>